peace, power, and chaos, my beloved brothers and sisters. Once again, it is your humble servant, Brother Bazu Ank Amen, coming black at your ass with another download for you to divinely decode. Power to the dark side. I won't be long, but I will be strong, beloved. In this particular video, your brother will be discussing, <clears throat> excuse me, some more hate. Somebody say hate. Some more hate being spewed over this, this, this past weekend for our dear old brother, Coach Prime. The man who says nothing to no one, yet his name is in everybody's mouth. Lord have mercy. So who, who, who's the corporates today? Yes, I said corporates because there's more than one that decided to bust their gun. Lord have mercy. At Coach Prime. At Coach Prime. Now watch this. Watch this. So, the first one. The first one. Somebody say JJ. Oh, come, come to the stage, JJ. JJ Reddit. JJ Reddick, come to the front of the goddamn congregation. We got to speak to you. Now, JJ Reddick decided to put Coach Prime on blast, if you will, for having the discussion he had with the Philadelphia 76ers. Apparently, JJ's issue with it is that <clears throat> apparently he has a problem that it was it was put out to the forefront. JJ Reddick said, it, 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 I, I grew up in the NBA. God damn it. And, 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 and we've had motivational speakers come and talk to us before, and, and we've never had anything. Uh, brought to the forefront like that or put on the internet or put out for others to see or hear. Is anything in the locker room sacred anymore? That's what JJ said. Now, my problem with that, JJ, is the simple fact that we ain't got to go no further than your podcast show. Somebody say, we ain't got to go no further than the show. Where JJ is talking to current players, former players, current coaches, and maybe even some former coaches. Who knows? JJ bringing up all kind of topics, all kind of scandal and scandalous things on his podcast. And they and the brothers that come on there go keep it a goddamn buck. Not giving a mother what? Answering your questions. Things that can incriminate them or uh, 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 ruin some relationships with their fellow brother. But they on your podcast answering your goddamn questions. Answering the tough questions. Ain't backing down. Holding a goddamn ground. Answering your questions. And so, JJ, the question you pose, I'll have to reverse it to you. God damn it, is anything in the in the locker room sacred anymore? Is there anything with, with a certain uh, 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 team or player sacred anymore? Is there anything sacred anymore? I'll have to pose that question to you. I'll have to reverse it to you. Because if we're going to go by those standards, JJ, then God damn it, I don't think you'd have much of a podcast at all. If you couldn't ask the goddamn questions that everybody dying to know. So I'll sit JJ ass right there. Moving right along. The other corporate, the bald headed bandit. Somebody say bald headed. The bald headed bandit himself. The bald headed bandit himself. We done dealt with JJ, and no, I ain't talking cocoa melon. But this next corporate got less hair on the top of his head than JJ, little JJ from, from cocoa melon. I speak of none other than your king, not mine. Your king, LeBron James. Oh, my God. Lord have 
have mercy. LeBron James, come to the front of the congregation and get your daily bread, nigga. Now watch this. Oh, I, I, I'm warmed up now. LeBron, Lord have mercy. Coach Prime shows you nothing but respect. Handle you with, with, like everybody else, got to handle you with kids' gloves. Can't say nothing too harsh to you. Because your feelings are so easily hurt. Even when a, a person ain't even coming for you, they may say something to trigger your ass. So what triggered you about Coach Prime this time? When Coach Prime seems to sing your praises all the goddamn time. What was it? LeBron Ramon James. Somebody say Ramon. Somebody say Ramon. Put that role in it. LeBron must have a little Portuguese. That little, that little, some little, he might have a little patch of uh, uh, some little curly hand uh, in the back of the, the tape of his goddamn neck. He he got 1.1% Portuguese. Ramon. Okay. LeBron gonna, gonna, gonna get mad at Prime. But watch this, because he ain't going to say this is the reason. But God damn it, I, 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 I can read between the lines with the eyes of the divine. LeBron got mad, I bet, because he heard Coach Prime not stick to the goddamn script. What do you mean, Brother Bazu, Coach Prime didn't stick to the script? I'm glad you asked. You see, when Coach Prime was talking to the Sixers and he was talking about the, 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 the players of today, the best not willing to be a dog and guard the next best man. My best man going to guard like, like the next best man. Like, like he said, God damn it. When I was playing, I told him I got Jerry Rice. Y'all ain't got to worry about Jerry today. I'm going to deal with Jerry's ass. That's what a dog will do. A dog going to be a dog. God damn it. Somebody say, a dog going to be a dog. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. A dog going to be a dog. God damn it. So I'm going to lock up their best man. But he said, today's players ain't built like that. Y'all ducking and running each other. Running from each other. God damn it. He said back, and this is what got wrong. This is what got Brian mad. He said, back in the day, MJ, oh my God. Why did he drop that name? He said, Jordan wasn't ducking no goddamn smoke. He said, Jordan wanted all the goddamn smoke. Black Jesus wanted to guard the best man on the next team. God damn it, I'm going to lock him up. I'm going to lock him up. That's what got uh, LeBron in his goddamn feelings. That's what got his panties in the bunch. But he wasn't man enough to stand on, on, on ten toes down and, and, and make no comment, God damn it. You always need somebody else to jump out the goddamn window. And then LeBron going to make a comment to the, 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 the stupid shit JJ talking about. LeBron going to make a goddamn comment and, 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 and say, oh, 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 I, I, like you, as you, you totally agree. I, honey, percent agree with what JJ say. JJ is a hundred percent absolutely right. Sit your ass down. Sit your uh, uh, stat padding ass down. A goddamn disgrace. Man, because the man brought up MJ, not you. Oh my God. He brought up MJ, not you, LeBron, for locking up and being willing to take on the task, God damn it, at hand and guard the next team's best man. Yes, Lord. That's what got him upset. That's what made him jump on the uh 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 the bandwagon of what JJ talking about in regards to going at prime. A goddamn shame. A goddamn shame. As sure as he got 10 strands of hair. Holding on for dear life on the top of his head. He went at prime with JJ. Oh my God. Power to the dog, son.